What's up everybody, it's your boy TJ and today I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review for No Time to Die. This is the fifth and final movie of Daniel Craig's James Bond run and boy did they end it on a high note. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you know I'm doing movie content weekly, movie reviews, trailer reactions, so if you sub to the channel it supports us a lot and definitely give this video a thumbs up. It's only right that we start this review talking about Daniel Craig. It's his last James Bond movie, it's his fifth one, and boy did he deliver. This was his swan song. You know, you walk into this movie knowing that it's his last one, but damn, they really put everything out there. You know, throughout the movie, he's struggling with his past and how, you know, he's supposed to move on so that way he could live his life, but of course, something happens, which brings him back and we get 007. Daniel Craig just comes off as like a smooth, cool dude, man. Like he got the swag, he's kicking ass. He was your perfect James Bond, you know? And I didn't even realize that he was Bond for 15 years. You know, 15 years is a long time. I'm sure it's gonna be hard to replace him, which by the way, I would love to see Idris Elba. But damn, I just wanna say bravo to Daniel Craig. Thank you for giving us 15 years of James Bond. And I'm so thankful that his last movie ended up being a good one. This movie is action packed, balls to the wall from the opening sequence all the way to the end. You got explosions, you got cars flipping over, you got motorcycle chases, like this shit gets crazy. This is some of the best action I've seen all year. Definitely some of the best action in any Bond movie. Shout out to the cinematographer because the camera work really makes you feel like you are in the middle of the action. There are chases where you feel like you're in the car. Also, the lighting was done very well. It's almost like you could just take a screenshot of any scene and it'll look really nice. You know, speaking of the fighting scenes, I won't get into no spoilers, but it involved a stairwell and he was just beating people's asses. It was equivalent to like Batman and Batman versus Superman. And a lot of it was done in like one shot. And I'm a big fan of one shots, so. That was remarkable. Also, I know that there are a lot of James Bond fans where, you know, they love the opening title. Billie Eilish did the theme song for No Time To Die. And I could tell you that the song did well with the opening animation. So if you're a fan of that, you'll enjoy it. One thing I love about this movie is the cast. You know, a lot of them are series regulars, but the cast is just awesome. Like you literally have an A-list cast in a James Bond movie. You can't go wrong. I'm a big Rami Malek fan and I was so excited when they casted him as the Bond villain. I remember they were in contract negotiations during the Academy Awards season for when he was nominated for Bohemian Rhapsody. And I thought it was so genius how they waited until after the award show to see if he won because the fact that he won, I'm sure he got a big payday. So shout out to him. But I'm a little upset that we didn't get a lot of Rami Malek. For a movie that has a two hour and like 45 minute runtime, I wish we had more time with Rami's character. I feel like if you would have given him more time, he could have easily been one of the best Bond villains of all time. You know, it makes sense that they would give Daniel most of the screen time. It's his last Bond movie, so I understand, but it would have been tight to see my boy Rami get a little more time. Also, we do get a new character, Lashana Lynch, who plays Naomi. I remember when she got casted and word got out that she was gonna be the new 007. The internet went crazy. I am here to tell you, James Bond fans all across the world, that it made sense why she was 007. If you're a James Bond fan, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this movie. Most importantly, it has a great story, it has legendary performances, and the action sequences are out of this world. It really is a fun time at the movies. Like I said, the only gripe I really had was that I felt like it was a little bit too long, and we didn't get enough Rami Malek. But overall, I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. I can't wait to watch it again. If I have to give No Time to Die a score out of 10, we're going eight out of 10. I enjoyed it, and I'm sure you will too. Also, don't forget, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you're excited for this movie, if you're a James Bond fan. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.